Let's explore the beauty of Portugal together. Witness the magic of the building of a home that echoes our story. Subscribe and be part of our unforgettable adventure. Just had to put a muzzle on, but she doesn't like it, poor thing. But uh, we're just exploring a bit more of Santa Compadão. Yeah. Santa Compadão. They were just building this the last time we were here. So we're just having a bit of an explore. It's great, isn't it? That's fantastic. Yeah. back here again the last time we were here we we met uh, Louise from 50 plus Portugal and had a, a meal in that pizzeria over there back to the car after you've had a sniff <laughs> What is it? Hey? Come on then. Oh wow, yeah, that was just a... That was just a pile of blooming stones the last time we were here. This morning we're um, heading off to Koja. Um, it's just a, a small town along the Alva River um, and apparently they hold a market there on a Saturday morning and that market has <laughs> some really nice breakfast rolls apparently but uh, Annette wants to go to the market to have a look around so we're gonna um, Top up the car with some fuel and then go and meet some friends in, uh, at the market in Kozia. So that's where we're heading this morning. So we've arrived. It's a bit misty. Uh, I think they're still setting out all the stalls, but um, yeah, we've been here before. We stayed in a townhouse over there before. This is like the main uh, green park. There's a big car park there. We just parked over there. 
and there's a little bridge that goes across the river and uh, up to the market they're all setting up at the top there so we may be a bit early a few moments later Today's weather forecast was for mainly cloud. <laughs> it's been like this all day. Once the mist cleared this morning, when we'd been to Koja to the um, to the hippie market, <laughs> for want of a better phrase, new age, new age, new age market. Lots of interesting uh, things. Homemade um, kimchi, sauerkraut, fermented foods. Lots of burgers. Burgers. There was pies. There pies, were handmade pies. Pasty pasties. Fruit and veg. Fruit and veg. And fresh, fresh eggs. A lot of vegan things as well. Yeah. Stuff for vegans and vegetarians and. Um, You're talking cakes again, aren't you? No, <laughs> but there was lots of vegan cakes. Um, Which are equally nice. Yeah, there was a guy reading tarot cards. Uh, we bumped into uh, Mike, who we uh, did a house sit for up here once. Um, yeah, we met up with uh, Catherine and Roman um, and uh, went round the market with them. Yeah. There's a, there was a nice stall there though that did uh, the good um, pork pie. Oh my God, I got a pork pie. Um, well, a big slice of a pork pie, uh, but you don't see those very often out here. So I got some of that. And um, yeah, they did all sorts of good thick English bacon. Um, yeah, nice sausages. I had a, sausage bacon and egg roll for breakfast and it was just lovely I just got back um, and we've just been talking to uh, a lady in the village and uh, shame I didn't record it because I was really proud of myself we we're talking for a long time all about the uh, the forest fire that um, that uh, took over the village around here in 2017 um, yeah, we had quite a long conversation with her. I was really proud. My Portuguese, she understood everything I was saying. So, but I just, uh, this is the main house at the top and it's gorgeous. It's been like this since this morning, once the mist cleared and it's just, it was supposed to be cloudy today, believe it or not. And it hasn't been, it's been absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if the camera's picking up the mountains in the distance. That's towards um, Luza, and then sort of that way over there is Penacova, and that's the, if you can just make out next to the, to the right of the sun, there's a load of um, wind turbines, that's on the Basaku Ridge over there. So yeah, it's a very nice area. And we've just got back from our walk with Rosie, yeah. Very nice. And that's that's at the back of the house. Then at the front of the house, over in the distance, over there is the Serra Destrella mountain range. Nice. Really good. And we normally go. I don't think so. Make that out. Down there, there's a lane just to the right there, literally out the house, and you've got beautiful walks all around the uh, reservoir. So yeah, it's a really good. Really good uh, location for a house sit. And the uh, orange trees coming on. The oranges off this tree are delicious, absolutely delicious. 